Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Uh, I'm here today uh, with some of my. I'm here today with some of my colleagues from our message floor and some of our administrative staff to present my final project, my senior project. I'm going to be talking today about enforcing bedside shift reporting by nurses. Uh, I've been on 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 this on my current uni for a couple of months, and I realized that most of the time, uh, nurses when we have change of shift, nurses don't do what the policy says we should do. Not all the nurses, some of them, uh, they give their reports, the change of shift report outside the patient's room or at the nursing station because they are, they are probably rushing to go home or something like that. So I thought that was a problem that I could use as uh, a, a research for my, for my, for my uh, senior project. So I'm going to be talking today about a process that we could put in place to be able to solve this problem, to make sure that this report takes, takes place by the patient's bedside. So my title is Enforcing Bedside Shift, the Change of Shift Report to Improve Patient-Centered Care in a Hospital Environment. Bedside uh, Change of Shift Report it's actually a mandatory hospital practice that is yet to be adopted and implemented by some of the nurses on my unit. It's not just my unit, it's a hospital-wide problem, but I'm focusing on my unit because that's where I've observed it. The importance of bed, uh, bedside change of shift report will be presented in this presentation <coughs> and a few literature review to show researches that have been done to support what I'm talking about. The change in practice that this project is going to address is, uh, is to establish a process that can be implemented on our floor to make sure that the change of shift report takes place by the patient's bedside. The method of establishing and evaluating this process I'll also propose it in my presentation. So when we talk of change of shift report, what do we really mean? This is, this is a, a process in which the, we have the outgoingness on a shift that they, they transfer the responsibility and accountability of a patient's care to the nurse that is coming in on the floor for the next shift. Current emphasis is for this report to take place by the patient's bedside. Because there are several advantages to this, not just to the patients, but to the nurses also. It is an approach in which the patient and their family are, are, are looked on as an integral part of their care. So they become part of the part of the healthcare team that is taking care of that patient. Bedside shift reporting also improves staff's relationship, like I mentioned before, and uh, quality of care, it improves communication between the patient and the nurses, and uh, it saves time for the nurses. When you go in, you give the report by the bedside, the nurse has a comprehensive uh, uh, knowledge of what is going on with the patient. They, they have a, a kind of brief view of how the patient looks like, what's going on. Just a brief assessment of the patient. It saves them time because they, they will now be able to prioritize their care for the shift. And it, it also ensures con safe continuity of care. Despite the importance of this practice, anyway, many of the nurses on our floor still give uh, this report out of the patient's room, which is what uh, my proposal is addressing. So this slide 
slide that we are looking at just tells you it's a summary of what was what is what is the old traditional way that change of shape report is done and what is the current method that is being emphasized in the hospitals so with the old way reports were given at the nursing station in conference rooms some by telephone recording and um, patients were never and when it's done like this, patients are not, and their families, they are not part of that report. So it's like we are ex excluding them from their care. But the current method now, is, it lays emphasis on this report taking place by the patient's bedside. You go in, the oncoming, the outgoing nurse introduces the oncoming nurse to the, to the patient and their family. They update the whiteboard in the room and the oncoming nurse has an opportunity to briefly assess the patient, just look at the patient briefly and just have an overview of what is going on. So in this situation, patient and their family are involved because during that report, we encourage them to ask questions. We as nurses, we may, we may miss out something because most times when you have patients that are alert, they actually know what is going on with their care. They know their medications, they know when certain uh, uh, tests are ordered, so they will ask questions. And in uh, this way, they can, it can also help us to catch some errors and correct it. So that's why I say it, it promotes safe continuity of care. So this, this slide just shows some of the pictures showing the old methods of how things, the reports were done, you see this nurse is right here. They are giving report at the hallway, in, right in front of the patient's room. This is taking place in the nursing, in the nursing station on their desk. And this, this is recording. She's trying to record, record the, the report to leave for, the, for either for a doctor or for another nurse coming in. So my objective in this uh, project <coughs> Is to, is to highlight the need for effective uh, bedside change of shift reporting and propose a process that could be implemented to enforce this practice by nurses to be given by the bedside. The rationale for my project, a couple of them, like I mentioned before, benefit to the nurses and benefits to the patients. Some of the the benef benefit of bedside shift reporting to the patients are to basically, mainly, I would say, is to promote patient-centered care, which is what we emphasize now. There is need for uh, providing holistic care by nurses. So it promotes uh, uh, patient-centered care, patient safety, nurse-patient relationship, and ensure safe continuity of care, as I mentioned before. That way, improving patient outcome. So this, this slide just shows, is just like an example of how you see that this patient here, she's excited. You can see from the picture, they, they want to be part of their care. And it allows them to ask patients, this little girl here is the patient, these are her family, and this is the nurse. So it allows them to, the family to ask questions about what is going on and for, for us as nurses to give them answers. And what are the benefits to all staff? It promotes teamwork. When we, are, when we do that report, it promotes teamwork amongst us. Uh, it, it, it also promotes accountability. If I know that I'm going to be giving you that report in front of I'm going to do right and make sure that every, what I'm saying, you know, is right. So it promotes accountability and the outgoing nurse will not want to leave things undone for the incoming nurse. And in that case, in that way, it decreases adverse events, saves time and decreases cost to the hospital in the sense that uh, when the nurse is not going to stay behind to do things that were supposed to have been done, Oh, after this report, she prioritizes. She or she prioritizes her tasks for the for the shift. They, they they work faster because they know what 
after looking at meeting all their patients, you can easily prioritize that this is the patient I have to see first. And that way it makes them finish their tasks for the shift in time. So it will save the hospital money because they don't have to pay time overages for nurses staying over their shift. This picture just shows some, I mean, just saying, uh, you see those nurses discussing the promotes accountability here because nurses will question each other, whatever is on the report. Despite all these values that I've talked about, of bedside shift, a change of shift report, some nurses on my floor, and like I've mentioned before, some other units in the hospital, they still prefer to do it the traditional way. What I've observed is sometimes you see some of them on the hallway and they are watching to see if the charge nurse is around, they'll quickly give the report. You know, so I'm, uh, I'm trying to propose, I'm proposing that we should have a process in place in which we can really resolve this problem. The root cause of this problem is that there is no process in place to enforce that nurses have to do this. They will be hold, held accountable for not doing it. And that's what I'm, my, my, my proposed research is focusing on. This is my pickup question. This slide just shows my pickup question. And some of the evidence, to, evidence studies that have been done to support my proposed uh, research to show that bedside change of shift report have been uh, reported to be critical in providing patient and family-centered care, like I mentioned before. There is emphasis on the need to embrace the patient and their family as part of the healthcare team. It gives an opportunity for the patient and their family to ask questions and clarify in any inaccuracies. And evidence have shown that more informed, the more informed a patient is, the less anxious they are and the more likely they are to be compliant with whatever care we are giving them because they understand what is going on. Initiating and implementing bedside reporting in a hospital is an addition to the to the to patient center care and had and research has shown that it has resulted in improved patient satisfaction and care. <clears throat> in an effort to to enhance patient center care and increase time for direct patient center care, Lewis and uh, Lewis in 2011, Maxson and, and her, her colleague in 2012, they, they did a research that showed that increased uh, patient, uh, enhanced patient center care and increased, uh, and increased time for direct patient care <clears throat> is uh, an intervention to move change of shift report nursing report to patient bedside was developed and implemented and the result and it resulted in improved satisfaction for nurses and direct care. This slide still emphasizes what I've talked about the importance of bedside reporting patient relationship with the, with, with, the, with the nurses and ensure safe continuity of care, it decreases adverse effects, events, and increase accountability from nurses. It improves staff relationship, teamwork, saves time, decreased cost to the hospital. Oncoming nurses can quickly visualize and assess the patient. Like I mentioned before, nurses are able to prioritize their shift work. So what are my recommendations? Evidence-based, I'm going to do a research. I'm going to collect data 
from past researches that have been done and uh, to, to support this practice. And all the, the, the several people have actually looked at this and implemented them in different hospitals. So there are data out there that actually support what I'm talking about here. So my project proposal, I'm proposing to do this project in two phases. The intervention phase and evaluation and then the implementation. So during the intervention phase, on our floor we have, we have three wings. So my proposal is that I'm going to select specific rooms that we're going to do, we're going to do, make sure that every patient that comes into those rooms will do bedside reporting on them, every shift. Then the rest of the patients will not receive report. What I'm trying to do is to evaluate in the end, we're going to question this patient at discharge, each of them to ask them if that made a difference in their care or why they were there. So every week, we'll rotate these hallways such that the following, if we did reporting on this floor this week, the following week, we'll do it on another floor on another floor, just rotating it, so that we kind of get a random sample of patients that receive bedside reporting. And each group will be evaluated at this time. I'm going to have a survey that will be given to each of these patients as they, 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 they are discharged. On the day of discharge, we'll just give them a short survey to in form of a questionnaire to fill up for both groups. And it's from there that we will now ev uh, evaluate and, and get the uh, in information from, from the patients themselves. So my plan is that to, to effectively do this, I'm going to have the PCTs that are on the floor, each of the floor, each PCT that is on a hall. Sometimes we have two on a hallway, sometimes we have three. I'm just going to pick one for, 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 for each day and say, okay, make sure that these nurses give report inside the patient's room. So she will be the one to go around. If she finds a nurse on the hallway giving report, please go in and give report. Please go in and give report. And that is the process that I plan to implement because we always have PCTs every night assisting the, the nurses. So if you just tell one of them that part of your duty today is to make sure reports are given in the room, instead of the charge nurse going around, the charge nurse cannot go through all four ways at the same time. But you already have these PCTs on the hallways by their computers. So you just tell them, make sure no, no nurses Nurses are not giving report on the hallway. It's just to alert them that please go in. So that is uh, that is the effective way that I think if we put that process in place, I think that will that will effectively that will be done effectively. So my expected outcome from this project is that if it, if it is approved at the end of the project, after we evaluate it uh, and implement it, nurses will adopt and implement mandatory bedside reporting as part of their daily nursing care. Patient satisfaction with care received during their hospital stay will increase. And I'm hoping that if we can do it within my unit, then who we'll, we'll propose it to other units in the hospital where I know have the same problem. So my conclusions are nursing change of shift report is an important nursing care practice that needs to be, needs to take place by the, best, by the patient's bedside to promote patient 
family center care and improve overall patient's care. And these are some of the references, the research that I looked into for my proposals. These are just some of them. They might not be very legible, but. So that's the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, I will welcome them. Because like I said, this is a proposal that I intend to implement on my floor. And uh, so I'll be glad to make any correction. First one is um, I do know there is there are a lot of importance to bedside reporting, just like you said. But I'm looking at the family. Not all family members, you know, like not all family family members are privileged to have the information about what is going on with the patient because some patients might not. I'm talking about privacy in this case mm -hmm. now. So what happens? Do we send them out of the room? No, no. Usually, 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 um, during reporting, I mean, you know that we always ask them. When we walk into a room and the patient is there, we, we don't know who is who there. We always ask them, is it okay if we give report in their presence? Or usually when we greet, introduce ourselves, is this your husband, sister, you know? or your daughter, is it okay? Even if it's the husband or, or, or parent, we always ask the patient, is it okay if I if we give report? If yeah, because I was looking at privacy. Yeah, that's what I, no, we take that into consideration. We always ask if it's okay for us to do the report there. And if they say no, we always excuse them. So if you say no, then that report will not be given at No, it will be side. given, but we'll ask the family to member to step out okay. mm -hmm. right. while we do the report. Well, my question was um, almost similar to hers, but it was more about if in a situation where the patient is a uh, critical uh, situation, you might you might have a patient in the hospital that is actually on their way out dying, mm -hmm. and they don't know, they're not aware of how bad the situation is. Um, in that uh, situation, and you know, the, some of them, the less you know how critical you are, the more you are willing to fight to stay alive. Mm -hmm. And by letting them know that like this, they are on their way out, they will give out, even if they had, maybe they had two days, they will give out in two hours. So in a situation like that, where you know that the patient's condition is, um, is, is critical, um, how do you do with the report? If you come in there, do you come in and you, you know, with the other person, the other uh, incoming nurse, and then you give the report in the hearing of that patient? No, when we have uh, patients like that, you you know from their history, if they have anxieties like that due to their situation, and in that case, we'll give the report, we'll, we'll still go into the room just to say, okay, this introduce the oncoming nurse, and just let them know that I'm just giving her a report because I'm getting up, you know. Be in the room, then we'll lower our voices, just talk. But it is important for them to know what is going on, even though it's, even though they are they are in a critical situation. If if their mental status is okay, it's important. Because in most cases, even though you think that way, most cases they get encouraged if they really know that you are, we are working hard take care of them to to keep them alive you know so i have one last question i have another question okay. i think this is going to be a really really good uh, experience between the nurses you know and the patient mm -hmm. given just the fact that you know the, the patient is going to be really really satisfied seeing the two nurses walk in change shift, mm -hmm. not that some, you are in there, your nurse is gone, then oh, you, the next nurse just come in, oh, my name is Margaret, I'll be your nurse. I think this is going to, this is a really Yeah, important which is point. one of the things that uh, this uh, best size shift reporting emphasizes. <coughs> it actually, it, it gives the, the patient confidence that 
we as nurses and doctors we work as a team, team. taking care of them. Mm -hmm. So that that's why I say it promotes teamwork among the staff members. I have another question. Mm -hmm. I know that with um, bedside reporting, is the nurse coming in and the nurse going out? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about like the charge nurse? Because I know when we do like the conference, when everybody is there, at least everybody gets to know what is going on with this patient. Mm -hmm. We have in my on my floor. I don't know what, I think that is what, because it's the hospital policy, so I, I would think that's what is taking place on another floor. The charge nurse has, we have several ways that we update the charge nurses. There's a white board, very big white board, where with certain buttons, where we put maybe white, red, depending on the situation with the patient discharges or what is going on, those, then we write, uh, all the patients on the all the rooms on the floor are there. So for each room, this is the patient's names are not there for privacy reasons. So you just say room this, then you just put a brief update of what is going on with that patient on different columns. Then there's the 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 supervisor. That's for the supervisor and all other nurses coming in. You just take a look, and then if you see the room that you'll be assigned to, you kind of get an idea. Then the supervisor also has another sheet that she, he or she prints out every, every shift. And every nurse on the shift has to update. You go there, look at your room, and update, just brief what is going on, any changes with your patient, because she has to hand that to the incoming supervisor for that shift. There's also a, a folder that has all the rooms and a brief history for the for the patients in that room that each of the, it has a care plan. So you have also nurses have to update the care plan where the supervisors can briefly look through and other nurses also. Okay. All right, if no other question, thank you all for taking the time to come and listen to me and I greatly appreciate it.